Hi, I'm here to talk about robots and how they change lives. And most importantly, I'd like to get you involved. You get to connect with the community, you get to improve the science and technology in our schools, and trust me, you're going to learn something. So, six weeks to build a robot. Thousands of students are doing it every year. And these are students in our high schools everywhere. And it, it's going to help to improve our society. The competition is called FIRST. First Robotics is an annual competition where teachers, mentors, and their students come together to play a game. And this year's game is called Overdrive. Now, Overdrive is going to be played on a 54 foot by 27 foot arena with a six and a half foot tall overpass. This overpass has a number of balls. The. Um, <laughs> so. The, the points are scored during the game by moving your, your robot around the track. You score a point for lapping. You also score points by adding, removing, and placing balls in the overpass. The game's divided into a 15 second autonomous mode and a two minute teleoperated mode where you get a use joystick. Now, every team gets a kit of parts. These are the raw materials for making a robot, no instructions included. I panicked when I saw this kit of parts. So why would I volunteer for this panic-inducing experience? Well, my own high school robotics experience transformed my life. It decided where I was going to do with my career. It gave me a lot of confidence to, act, to do actual engineering work. And yes, it affected my love life. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Nisha George. We met while we were working at NASA on a robotics internship. She's fallen head over heels for me. <laughs> it may have something to do with microgravity. So after we got the kit of parts, um, on the first day of the competition, our team started laying out a plan. We decided what we were going to do and what we just couldn't do in the six weeks. We're a rookie team. We really wanted to set out a good idea of what we could get done. So the first week, the, the kids did awesome. They divided up in the groups. They started milling. They started cutting. They started welding pieces together to create the basic frame of our robot, the foundation that we build everything else on. By week two, we had uh, our electronics laid out. The electronics, we had running some motors, we had them um, blinking some LEDs that eventually be hooked up to our pneumatic system. Really impressive stuff. And these are just high school students. Um, I'm in college, I look young. So, uh, this is this is the frame of our robot, and this was all done by week three. By week four, we had the robot running up and down the hallways of the school. Really exciting. But literally, it just ran up and down the hallways. Um, it couldn't turn. <laughs> so this is a decision that I had made early on in the whole process. I said, we're not going to use caster wheels. We'd use caster wheels on my robot. In high school, it had been a disaster. Caster wheels are those things on your, your carts. You know, they always wobble. They make it hard to steer. And you're going to be doing this in autonomous mode. But caster wheels can solve some really difficult engineering problems. But, so, you know, they, they have their advantages and disadvantages. And this is one of the engineering problems they can solve. <laughs> now, to be fair, the same way uh, was invented by Dean Kamen, who also invented the first competition. My argument here is that the first competition was his better invention. So 13 days remain, and my team right now has a robot that is able to move around the track really fast. We're able to remove balls from the overpass. We're working on the software to do that autonomously, and um, it, it's going great. These are the reasons that people in the area are volunteering to be mentors for these teams. And I think the most telling piece of evidence is that the mentors today were students in high school four years ago. Four years ago. These are the teams in our area that need your help. They are near your house. I know they're near your house. You're here. And um, they need engineering. They need engineering help. They need marketing help. And they need uh, money. <laughs> you're there. So my basic argument is this. You're here drinking beer. There are schools within miles of here. I know you can get there. <laughs> So, uh, what I'd really like you to do to get started off in first is I'd like you to show up to the Portland Coliseum, February 29th through March 1st. This is going to be the first competition for the Pacific Northwest. All the schools in our area are going to be there. You're going to get to see the excitement and you're going to get to see Overdrive being played. 
So please visit Pacific Northwest First website, pnwfirst.org. Write this down, or buy me a beer and I'll write it down for you. 